Thank you, uh, Dr. Guru Prasad. I think we will take the bull by the horns. You want to start with, we start with something difficult, and then of course we'll pick up all the other things which we have on the way. Basically, in any surgical strike, whatever kind of surgical strike it may be, the first issue is reconnaissance, intelligence gathering. Then you make your initial forays, the assessment of the enemy. Then you make your general strategy, and it's important to have nimbleness in execution, which is the ability to make sudden midterm changes. So for reconnaissance, what do you want to do? You want to see in terms of the, uh, of the eye, you assess for peripheral opening, space between membranes and the retina in all 360 degrees. Assess the intensity of the adhesion between the retina and the membranes and look for potential stocks attached to that membrane. The initial forays I do with a 25G MVR to pick up the mem membrane off the retinal surface, create a wedge for insertion of the cutter, and then use a blunt edge of the cutter to lift the adjacent membrane, as you'll see. And of course, be careful if you see bleeding, desist in that area. And as a general strategy, move radially from the periphery to the disc from multiple directions, looking for areas where the uh, adhesions are least sticky. But you can also try an inside out approach starting just adjacent to the disc and see if you can get the uh, membranes off from the disc. You can, you can try that also. This is just to show you how in this case we proceeded from the upper quadrant, then the nasal quadrant, circumferentially around the disc, and then extended uh, inferiorly, temporally, and finally in the upper and lower temporal direction. So you can see this was a fairly bad case where actually it's even difficult to figure out where the disc, but the disc was, many of the vessels were sclerosed, but this was a one-eyed patient and we had no choice but to do the surgery. So I've already told you about this part. You look carefully and assess in different areas. Now this is the upper part. You see this? This membrane is very densely adherent. You created an edge. Now use the blunt edge of this cutter to create the to remove this membrane. And you can see as you go towards the disc, and we went close to the disc, we found small bleed, so decided to desist from there and try from another point. So in ferro, nasally. Now we see extend it further, clear this membrane. Try to make the separation as much as possible. Be patient, don't be in a hurry. And then if you see, there was an adhesion there, but there was a small gap here. We decided to extend this and clear this area. Now you can see the disc is almost cleared. You'd want to avoid bleeding if you can, and you, if the bleeding occurs, you must try to remove it. Don't let a major collection of blood come. This is over the macula. You can see we're slowly clearing it up, making sure that the bleeding does not extend, does not create a big collection over there because then that becomes a new membrane to remove. And that can become a full surgery in itself. You can see that, so again trying to assess, can I connect this membrane from the periphery? It was not possible. Now we decided I've had enough of uh, unimanual surgery, so shift it to bimanual surgery. Now you see I'm using the scissors, one end of the scissors as a shear. I'm not using it as, as a blunt separator. I'm using this as a shearing instrument, which makes it easier. It does not let breaks occur, and I'm able to create the separation more easily. And then as the separation increases, you can now keep on eating up that membrane The important thing is to try avoiding breaks if you can, and try avoiding collection of blood if you can. Both the things will harm you. And you could see this membrane is very thick and going right up to here. This is at the arcade. So we created this separation. Now you, you dissect as much as you can. You segment it wherever you feel that you can't. Now when we put the PFCL, we realized still there was an area where this adhesion was preventing, the membrane was preventing the retina from settling. So we are removing this last bit. 
So again, have patience. Eat up the enemy slowly and eat it till you complete the entire uh, surgery. And you can see this last bit's gone now. And this is with the PFCL. And you can see that the retina settled, is now lasered. Now you see the periphery again. Don't end up leaving strands of the vitreous in the periphery because that will again prevent a long-term success. So again, clean up the periphery and finish off your surgery. Thank you very much.